my friends, it's Lisa and welcome to a new vlog. So I debated on vlogging this week. I was kind of going back and forth, but Rachel from Lemmy in the Library just replied to a comment that I left on one of her videos saying that when I read Dial A for aunties that she wanted to see my reactions to it, that she would love to see that. So considering I started Dial A for aunties last night, I've decided to vlog. Thank you, Rachel, for making the decision for me. <laughs> I'm bad at making decisions, so I'm glad someone else could step in and make decisions for me. But hello, welcome to a new vlog. So like I said, I'm going to be reading Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Satanto this week. And I definitely think that will go by quick. It's going to be something that I think I'm just going to want to know what's going to happen next. I think it's about this girl who ends up killing her date, her like blind date that she goes on. And her aunties and her mom kind of help her like get rid of the body and they ship it. I think in a freezer that ends up being shipped to the wedding that they're all working on so it just sounds like it's gonna be a wild time and I only read like the first chapter last night so I don't have many thoughts but I do think that the characters are already a lot of fun so I'm excited to read that and I also think I'm going to be starting The Handmaid's Tale. I always want to say The Hands Maid's Tale and that's just not right. It's The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I think I might be starting that this week as well. Me and my sister and her best friends who are sisters. It's just kind of one group of sisters basically. It's me and my sister and those two sisters. <laughs> we came together to make a book club and I think it's going to be really fun. We have just basically made it as a way for us to be able to get together and chat and also read because we all like reading. So The Handmaid's Tale is going to be our first book that we all read together. And I'm very excited to read it because I've wanted to read this book for a while, but I just never read it and then I never watched the show because I wanted to read the book. So maybe I'll finally watch the show. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to read it and see kind of what it's all about because this is a book that is very popular. Also, if anyone has any book club suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I'd love to get some book racks for that because I keep thinking of books that I've already read to suggest for us all to read. So that's not very helpful. So yeah, if any of you have any suggestions for books that us 20 somethings can read for our book club, anything that would be good, bring up a lot of discussions, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, we're gonna start with The Handmaid's Tale and I think I'll probably start that at some point this week. I've also been in a big like graphic novel mood. Like I've just been wanting to read a graphic novel and I've also just been like in the mood to read all the things. I feel like I get in these moods where it's just like I want to read every book in every genre that I've ever had an interest in and then I just get overwhelmed. But I've been particularly in a graphic novel mood. So I did recently just purchase uh, volume three of Heartstopper. So I might read this this week and what's happening with my voice? <laughs> I just read volume one and volume two a couple weeks ago and I just haven't stopped thinking about these characters and just how cute they are. And I bought this like a few days ago, so I think I want to read it as soon as possible. So I might try and pick this up this week as well. But yeah, those are the reading plans. Other than that, today I think I'm just going to edit last week's vlog. I was going to film a video, but it's so hot outside that I just want to keep my blinds closed. It's just, it will get too hot in here. It'll be a sauna in here if I have the blinds open for more than like five minutes. So I need to end this clip so I can close them again, but I'll just film that video later this week, get some editing done today and anything else I need to do. But yeah, I thought I would say hello and start this vlog and I will hopefully be getting some reading done this week. I have a lot of reading plans, so hopefully that can be done. It is now third Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> when will I let Vine go? I don't know. So it is now Wednesday and I have been doing some reading. I know I didn't vlog much yesterday, but yesterday I just didn't have that very exciting of a day. So I just didn't vlog very much. I did get some stuff done. It just wasn't very exciting stuff to vlog. So here we are, but I have been doing some reading. I'm now up to part two of Dial A for Aunties. I don't think the page number is like accurate to the book 
like through the ebook, the ebook pages are a little bit different, but I'm on page 96 of 263. So we're getting there. I feel like if I have a point today where I just like sit down and focus and read, I feel like I could get through a good amount of the book, if not finish it. But it's definitely one of those books where it's just so chaotic and I just want to know what's going to happen next. But it's also like, it just keeps getting worse and worse as you read. So it's just, it's chaotic, but it's so fun. So I'm definitely enjoying it so far. I'm excited to see how everything comes together and how they get out of this situation. And there's also like a romance, I think, like a second chance romance happening, which I'm excited about. So, so far with that one, so good. Something else I might want to try and do today. It's very random, but last night, I don't remember what it was that I saw that like triggered this memory, but I think a lot of the like beaded bracelet things, like that's come back. Like I think people are making them, but they're also being sold at places. Like I've been looking online at clothes stores and things like that because I need some new clothes, like I keep saying. And I've seen a lot of the beaded bracelets like on the website and they look like homemade. And I got this random urge to find my old beads and also my old like string that me and my sister used to use to make like the friendship bracelets and make bracelets. I don't know why that's happened, but last night I got the urge and I don't know if we have any of that stuff anymore. If we do, I feel like I know exactly where it would be in our house. So I just need to go and look for it. So I might do that later on today because I just really want to make some bracelets. I don't know, this like just randomly came on to me last night and I can't remember what I saw that made me want to do this, but here we are. <laughs> so that might be my craft for today, making bracelets. Again, don't know why, but it's a thing now and now I need to make them or else I will just continue to think about how much I want to make them until I get the stuff to do it. So either I need to find it or go to Michael's, one or the other. <laughs> so yeah, I think that that's going to be <laughs> something I need to do later on today if we have the correct supplies, but there's some stuff that I want to do first. So I'm going to work on that and then maybe we'll make some bracelets later on today. It could be fun. <laughs> Okay, update on the bracelet craft situation. The beads I did find, they were exactly where I thought they were, the place that they've been probably for the past 10 years <laughs> since I got them, you know, when I was a child. But they're not the cutest beads, like they're very like, they are a kid's crafting kit type of bead. So I don't think I wanna do that, but I can't find the string that we used to use for the different types of like friendship bracelets. So. Either it's completely missing and it got thrown away or something, or I just simply can't find it. It's possible. I might ask my mom when she gets home from work because she'll either know exactly where it is or if she has no idea, that means it's gone forever. So I do think a trip to Michael's might be in store to get some friendship bracelet string. Then I can pick out colors that I really like too, so it's kind of a good thing. Um, while looking for the string though, I did find a bracelet that I made probably a few years ago because I got into one of these moods like probably like five or six years ago but I found an old one that I made and I think I made matching ones with different colors for a couple of my friends and sent them to them so that's kind of cute but still don't know where the string is so that's very sad <laughs> but I'm still kind of in the crafty mood so what I might do instead it's not like as exciting but let me show you let me sit down that might be easier I have a spread at the beginning of my journal where I wanted to print out a picture for every single month of the year and put it into my journal and as you can see I haven't done it yet so I think I might print out at least pictures for the first few months and get that in there because I have a photo printer thing that I've actually never tried so I might try and see if I can figure that out but I might try and do that because then it's something I just feel like making a craft right now but I don't have anything. I'm still confused about the string. I really thought that it was somewhere in this bedroom or downstairs and I can't find it. So that's very sad, but I might do this instead to get that crafting energy out because <laughs> I just want to craft. That's all I want to do right now. <laughs>
Friday and I just wanted to chat to you all because I did finish Dial A for Aunties last night and I just need to talk about this book because what even was this book? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever read a book quite like this. It was so chaotic but in like the best way. I don't think I've actually described what this book is actually about in this vlog but without getting too spoilery, basically our main character goes on a blind date and somehow under certain circumstances her date ends up dead. She may or may not have killed her date and then the body may or may not end up at the venue for the wedding that her aunts and the main character are working the next day. So this book is basically just the main character and her aunts trying to work this wedding while also having a dead body there and like trying to figure out what to do with it. And that is like chaotic in itself, like just that is chaos, but it gets even more wild in the book. Like there's so much that happens in this book and it's so fun. Like you definitely have to suspend disbelief to read this, I feel like, to enjoy it because there's no way any of this would really ever happen. I mean, it, it, it's possible. It's possible. Never say never. But like some of the decisions, like they just wouldn't be decisions that people would make. But honestly, like that's why it's so fun because it's just so like out there and like unrealistic but chaotic and just it's just so much fun and it's like I think it's described as like a comedy horror but like there's also like a romance element to it it's just like everything in one and somehow it works <laughs> but yeah I loved it every time you kind of thought the chaos was coming to an end something else would happen you're like there's no way it can get worse than this and then it does <laughs> but I really loved it I gave it four and a half stars the only thing was like some of the dialogue and some of like the inner monologue of our main character felt a bit like cringy to me or like cheesy in a way and that like there were just a few moments where I'd stop and go mm, I don't know but the writing wasn't like that the whole time there were just like a few moments here and there but it was really funny and just I, like the best way I can describe it is chaotic so if you're someone that can you know just suspend disbelief and have a good time I recommend it. It was so fun. But now I think I'm going to pick up The Handmaid's Tale, which obviously is a very popular book with a very popular TV series. I haven't read it before and I haven't seen the show, so I really don't know what I'm getting into. And I don't know if I said, I think I talked about this at the beginning of the vlog, but basically like me and my sister and a couple of our friends who are also sisters kind of started this very like chill and low-key book club. I think I talked about this because I still ask for recommendations. Yes, I think I did. <laughs> but we picked The Handmaid's Tale for the first book that we're going to read, so I'm very excited to read it. I feel like it's, you know, I'm one of the last people to ever read this book, but I'm excited. <laughs> and while I also read The Handmaid's Tale, I probably at some point am going to be picking up Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This is the sequel to Strange Dreamer, and me and my friend Michaela, I think, are going to be buddy reading this. I just texted Michaela, letting her know that I'm, like, ready to read this whenever she is, so we will be starting this probably soon. I'm very nervous because I feel like I've heard that the romance is a big part of this book and I'm a little nervous about that just because I wasn't like obsessed with the romance and Stranger Dreamer like I didn't dislike it but I didn't like I don't know like it's fine like it's just kind of there for me so I'm a little nervous that that's going to be like the focal point of this book but I'm still excited I hope I love it I want to continue to remain friends with Darian so I hope I like it <laughs> but yeah those are the reading plans other than that I think BTS are doing a concert or concerts this weekend. I think Sunday, the way I never know what's going on with them, I just kind of like show up and I'm like, okay, everyone just tell me where to go. Tell me what to do. <laughs> but I think like Sunday at like 5.30 in the morning for me, they're having a concert. So will I be awake to watch it? There's a good chance. But of course, like this is like one of the rare weekends where I actually like have plans. So I don't know if I'm going to just because I don't want to be like half asleep doing the things that I'm going to be doing this weekend, but we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to go and caption a video, which is super fun, super exciting. It's not, <laughs> but then I will probably check in with you guys soon. Um, maybe once I start doing some reading or something a bit more exciting. Still have yet to find friendship bracelet string, but I also haven't asked my mom and nothing's truly lost until your mom tries to find it. So that's the tea. Okay. Goodbye for now. <laughs>
friends, I thought I would chat to you all while I put on some makeup. And my face is going to get all red because it's sensitive, so don't mind that. I think we are meeting my aunt and Nana out for like a late lunch type of thing. We're meeting them at like 3.30, so that's like a late lunch, very early dinner sort of thing. And I wanted to put on a little bit of makeup, so that is what I'm doing. But I did start Muse of Nightmares, which I now have makeup all over my hands, so I don't really want to pick it up. But I did start Muse of Nightmares this afternoon. I only got like through the first couple of chapters, and the first chapter is a little confusing because I think it's about characters that are like not some of the characters that we saw in the first book, or at least maybe we did and I just completely don't remember. So I was a little confused, but I think we're going to be back with the characters that we saw in Strange the Dreamer. So hopefully things will start to make sense. I'm also just excited to see like what happens because the end of Strange the Dreamer was whack. So I'm just excited to see kind of what happens because of that. I definitely don't remember everything, but I'm just kind of going in hoping for the best. <laughs> so yeah, it's just been a very like chill day of like slowly getting ready and like watching YouTube and reading a little bit. This lighting is terrible, so hopefully my makeup is coming out somewhat okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, other than going out for that late lunch thing, that's really all I have planned for today. There is the Reader Dare readathon thing happening this weekend, which I'm not really partaking in, but I like watching it because it's this really like fun uh, readathon that uh, Christine and Mo from the Roomies Digest, Rachel from Let Me in the Library, and Noelle from Noelle Seven Pages came up with to kind of celebrate them hitting certain milestones. And they like send each other books, which is super cute, to read for the readathon this weekend, but they also are like doing dares kind of throughout the whole readathon and they have like special guests that are also going to be having to complete dares and like if you're in the chat i think you have dares too i don't know i kind of uh stopped watching last night so i could go to sleep because they were happening until like 5 a.m or something here so they're so brave the east coast people so brave <laughs> but there are more of those sprints and stuff happening tonight and i definitely want to watch and be able to partake in the fun i don't know when they're starting and i don't know when I'll be able to start watching, but I think also Casey and Darian are going to be special guests tonight, so I want to watch them have to do dares. <laughs> but I'm probably not going to watch for super long tonight because I'm going to be waking up early tomorrow to watch the BTS concert. <laughs> oh, the things I do for them, truly. Where I am, it starts at 5.30 in the morning, so that's super fun, and I think I might be doing something tomorrow, like, in the day, so I don't know how I'm going to cope, but it's going to be fine. And it, of course, it's getting darker and darker as this clip goes on, which is so helpful when I'm trying to do my makeup. <laughs> but yeah, that is my um, very exciting day. I'm excited to see my Nana and Aunt. I'm excited to watch the Reader Dare. I might have said Truth or Dare earlier. I meant Reader Dare readathon. Me trying to do my makeup and talk at the same time is not good. I can't multitask. How do the beauty gurus do it? We don't know. But yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready. Clearly, I can't multitask. So I'm going to finish getting ready and then hopefully vlog some things that happened this weekend. We all know that I'm bad at vlogging when I actually do things that are kind of exciting. So we'll see. <laughs> okay, excuse the um, echo in our bathroom. But these are also the shorts that I got in my vlog from last week. Was that last week? I don't know what time it is. I feel like I say this every vlog. I genuinely do not know what time it is, but these are the like tan shorts that I don't know if you can really tell the color on camera, but these are like the tan beige color and I really like them. Here's the fit. Okay, that's it. <laughs> no. It is Monday of the next week. Time to wrap up this vlog. I did just want to quickly talk about what kind of happened yesterday and like the weekend and I know I didn't vlog that much, but I didn't end up watching the two BTS concerts that happened this morning and yesterday morning at 5.30 my time because it just was not a good time for me to be waking up because yesterday we ended up going to a bunch of breweries, we went brewery hopping, I feel like I say brewery, brewery, weird, it's such a hard word for me to say, <laughs> but we did that yesterday, so waking up at 5 30 in the morning and then getting home at like 10 30 at night it would have just been not great <laughs> and then waking up at like 5 30 this morning after getting home so late and being really tired i was just like no 
nope, I'm not going to watch them. So I'm sad I missed the concerts and didn't get to watch them with everyone, but there will be ways for me to like rewatch them. So that'll be good. Um, I definitely want to do that at some point this week, but I'm glad I decided to sleep and I had a good time yesterday. So that's all that really matters. Other than that, I think that's really it. I will give you a quick update on the books that I'm reading. So with Muse of Nightmares, I got up to chapter five, which is page 39. So not very far don't have a lot of thoughts. I will say it pretty much picks up like right where Strange the Dreamer ends, which I think is really great because obviously like I remember how Strange the Dreamer ended. I don't think it's possible for you to forget, <laughs> but I kind of was concerned I wasn't going to remember like the world and the magic and all the characters, but I feel like it kind of picking up right where Strange the Dreamer ended was good and it kind of brought me back into the world and like the problem that was going on right then. So that's good. And with The Handmaid's Tale, I think I'm up to like chapter seven or something. So not very far into either of these books. So not a lot of thoughts, but I'm excited to keep going with both of them. So that's good. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here so I can get back into bed. It's a nice rainy, cozy day. Make Sam, I don't know, if you can see him in the background here, but he's sleeping. He's got the right idea. So I think I'm gonna just snuggle in right next to him, edit this vlog, and just kind of have a chill day. So yeah, I think that that is going to be it for this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!